watching KCMI TV. Well, good morning, and uh, it's November 6th, and uh, obviously we have, my goodness, we've seen the hand of God stretched out over this nation. And uh, first of all, um, I want to say thank you to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the Holy Ghost, and our Father for answering the prayers of the saints. And of course, the last two nights uh, here in Nashville, we've gathered together as a church corporately, and uh, we've interceded uh, for two hours a night uh, that God would hear the prayers of his people, and he has. And, uh, you know, it brings power to the verse, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Well, today, God has loosed divine healing in the United States of America. And uh, so there's some things I want to address. Um, first of all, uh, the remnant, the church of the Lord that has been desperate for the move of God. Uh, I think we all know this. We have <clears throat> labored under, it's like there's just been a blanket of oppression over this nation in every sense. Uh, COVID came in for the last four years. It seems like that there has just been a concentrated effort from hell to oppose us on every front. But we have we prevailed. We have survived. And uh, the Bible says that when the enemy cometh in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises up a standard against it. And uh, it's time to raise our voice. It's time for God's people to no longer be intimidated. And uh, we're here to declare today that um, this is the beginning, I think, of God doing a lot of things. And um, I think of, of David um, when the enemy came in and stole everything from him. The Bible says that when he uh, there is zigzag and he went to battle, that he came back, he recovered all. And uh, we've been praying over the last few days. It's really been in my spirit, God, that you would allow us to recover what we had. And we have seen God step in and recover. And just as the enemy has tried to put a, a muzzle on the mouth of God's people over the last few years, God has yanked that thing off. And... Uh, so I was just meditating uh, yesterday. Uh, my mind went back to the vision that I'd had 38 years ago where the, that, that gentleman's coming down that street, that old dusty road in Bible times. I could see him, and I knew he, he had the anointing of Elijah on him, and he kept saying, the line of Judah shall roar again today. And in that setting... We saw the despair and the sorrow that was on God's people and the oppression. I saw it lift up off of them, and I saw the, the intimidation and the prosperity and the power that was on the enemy lift up, and it switched. And it came back down, and I saw God's people begin to chase the enemy. That's what we have seen over the last few hours. God hallelujah, has opened the heavens in this nation for the last great outpouring of the Holy Ghost. And I feel it in my spirit. There is, listen, saints, there's an acceleration getting ready to take place. It has begun. And when the enemy said it could not be done, when the media said it wasn't going to happen, God said, oh, listen, he said, I'm in control here, and look what the Lord has done. So I think that one of the things that, that is, we're going to see a, a massive change in is I believe the Lord's opened the heavens. I believe there's an open heaven right now over this nation and over the church. And we're going to begin to see God give us back some things that the enemy has stolen from us. And when you go back um, and you, re you read the story of the Israelites, you know, they're, they're in captivity. They're slaves for out of that 430 years. Historically, they were probably oppressed the last 80. And... Uh, 
in that time, you know, they, they've been stripped of everything, their voice is gone, and finally the enemy's making them make bricks. But in that time, when they were there, that last 80 years, when they began to go into bondage, God raised up, he birthed a deliverer named Moses. And when it came time, 80 years later, when Moses is 80, God raises him up. He brings him out of obscurity. He brings him out of exile. Hallelujah, where he had been banned by a, an administration that wanted to kill him. And the Bible says that God brought Moses back and he said, don't be afraid. I'm going to put my word in your mouth. And Moses began to declare, thus saith the Lord, let my people go. And I hear God saying from heaven to the enemy, it is time to let my people go. And not only did God deliver them, but when they begin to leave, when God said it's time, he flipped the switch, things changed. He opened the heaven over them. Prophecy that had been prophesied over 400 years previous has now reached its fullness, and God says it has to be fulfilled. It didn't matter what the environment was like. It didn't matter that God's people were slaves and didn't know how to fight. God said no prophecy is going to be fulfilled in 24 hours. That's what we've seen in 24 hours. God took Israelites who had the enemy had made them slaves and God made them free men. And not only did he make them free men, he said, now I'm going to give you back wages. All of those years that you worked for nothing as slaves and the enemy stole from you and took what was yours, he said, I'm going to let you spoil your enemy. And God moved on the Egyptians and Israel took the best that they had and walked out free men, blessed of the Lord. This is uh, prophetically I'm declaring this. I believe this with all in my heart that the Lord is going to allow the church now to begin to spoil the enemy. And where there has been, I, I listen to a lot of you pastors and a lot of you saints, and there's been such a financial strain on God's people. Well, I'm declaring in the word of the Lord that we're getting ready to spoil the enemy. And under this open heaven, hallelujah, under this open heaven, not only is God going to bless us spiritually, but I believe that God is going to begin to lose some finance to the house of the Lord, to the kingdom of God. And he's going to allow us to begin to do what we need to do. Um, one of the things that, one of the reasons that I believe this, and, uh, you know, in 2020, many of us were hoping that, that President Trump would assume office in, the, in that time frame, and obviously he did not. Uh, but God protected him. He kept him. He reserved him for this time, and God's brought him into office. And I, I think that the number one reason is President Trump is going to allow the church to have some religious freedoms, that some things will not be taken from us. And we're not going to have to worry about, well, is this going to happen, or are we going to be having to deal with hate crimes because we speak the word of the Lord? There, there is a season where <clears throat> God is gonna, has given us favor. But more than anything, and, and, I, and I'm so grateful for what the Lord has done, but can I tell you, if the election had went the other way, God was still God. The enemy still can't defeat the Lord. Whatever God says is going to happen in this time would have happened just a different way, but this is the way God had did it. And a lot of it is because of the prayers of the saints. I think that the church woke up this time. I believe the prayers of the saints, hallelujah, begin to bombard heaven like missiles. And God said, I've got to arise and answer their prayers. And all of this that we're seeing now is about one thing. It's about harvest these next four years and um you know some of you that have followed me over the years you know i prophesied this that um i think it was in 2019 is the first time i began to hear it in the spirit the lord began to say this he said um that after 2024 it was going to get dark in this nation and um i've reflected over that and i've wondered god what did that mean and uh, obviously 
um, I think God, the light has turned on. It's not dark for us. And I'm, so I was asking the Lord, I said, you know, you, you told me that it was going to get dark in this nation. And I really believe the Lord's given me some understanding. You remember in the time of Egypt that after that third plague, that God began to judge Egypt and he turned the lights out. But the scripture says light was on in Goshen where God's people were. They no longer suffered the oppression. I think that it's going to get dark in this nation for the wicked. For all of these men and women have sold out to the enemy and tried to destroy us, tried to destroy the church, have destroyed babies, um, have no sanctity of life. Uh, I believe that there's a flip-flop now happening and that the success that they've had is coming to an end <clears throat> and it's going to get dark in that realm and the light, hallelujah, is going to begin to shine in the church. And so um, I don't know how many years we have till the Lord comes back. I know that the next great event scripturally is that Jesus Christ is going to get up off of his throne in heaven and he's going to come back. He won't touch the earth. Uh, and as he's coming down through the heavens, the scripture says that we will begin to come up off of the earth and we'll meet him in the middle of the heavens and we'll go to heaven and have the Mary Supper of the Lamb. I don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, I do know this, that there is nothing prophetically that has to be fulfilled right now for the rapture to take place. It is imminent. But until Jesus comes back, there are some specific things that have to happen. One of them is the harvest. And, uh, and I was reflecting on this today. Just uh, my heart is so full that what the Lord has done. Saints have gone over these next few years till Jesus comes back. And we have seen God do something extraordinary. We, we have seen God make history in this nation that we could not have done any other way. Listen, hell is upset today. Demons are upset today because of what the Lord has accomplished. He did it for the church because the church are, is the laborers and the laborers are going to bring in the harvest. And I feel this in my spirit. I'm hearing this from God. This is a time now that you and I as God's people, we need to get focused. This is no longer a time about, well, you know, we're going to have prosperity now and, and blessings going to be great and interest rates are going to go down and, and I'm going to see my, listen, this is not about us. This is not about us. This is not about you and I using this open heaven for self-gratification uh, or self-promotion. This is a season where the Lord said, I've opened heaven over the earth because I need the church now to bring in the harvest. This is a time, hallelujah, when we need to come to prayer meeting. We need to come to the services. We need to intercede before God. We need to lift up the name of Jesus because the Lord has removed some obstacles and God does things with purpose. He does things with purpose. And the Lord has, has given us a season of recovery. He's given it back to us, that what we thought was lost. And uh, you need to pray for our president. Pray for him. He, he's not a young man. You need to pray God protect his health and, and, um, and have the enemy, you know, uh, it's interesting how the enemy tried to take him out and God just supernaturally protected his life. Well, God has put a, there is an angelic, hallelujah. I believe that, that angels right now are being loosed in the earth around the people of God. There is an angelic, there's an angelic protection that the Lord has decreed is going to be around the people of God. And this is also what I hear the Lord saying, that God is going to remove some hindrances and things that have been hard are going to be easy. As difficult as it's been is how easy it's going to become. That the plowman's going to overtake the reaper. You and I, listen, this is just the beginning. We've seen something done in the natural here and we praise God for it. But the Lord said, I 
hath not seen and ear hath not heard the things that God has prepared for those that love him, we're going to see God do some extraordinary things. Blessings, hallelujah, because we are lifting up the name of the Lord. And so use this time, use this window to promote the kingdom of God. I told the Lord in prayer the other day, I said, I don't want anything. I don't, whether it's prosperity or fame or money, whatever it is, or, or great gifts in ministry, God, do not let me have anything that would take your glory away from you. God has given you and I a window. He has, he's done something extraordinary because we need to bring the kingdom of God into the earth. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Sell out to the Lord. Hallelujah. Cut away every weight that has held us back. And uh, listen, God has gone before us. He has opened up a new path. There are fantastic things going to happen in the body of Christ. I, I'm believing for our own local church at Rivergate um, in, in Nashville, Tennessee, Regeneration Nashville. I'm declaring an open heaven over our church. The blessing of the Lord is upon us. I'd speak the blessing of God on every ministry. Hallelujah. Every church that has been preparing for the presence of the Lord. I speak the blessing of God over your house right now. For those of you that are in that the intercessors, those who have been crying out to God, get ready, hallelujah. There is a change. There is the, the blessing of God. You know, James said this. He said, every good and perfect gift cometh down from the Father above and comes into the earth. Well, we also know in the scripture that between heaven where God lives and the earth where we live is the heavenlies. And we know this, that that's where the devil is. He's the prince, the power of the air. And so the Lord says that the gifts that come down from him have to go through the enemy's domain before they get to us. Well, I think a lot of times that the enemy has latched on to those gifts that God has released to me and you and held on to them. And right now, I believe the Lord has removed the power of the enemy to latch on to what heaven is releasing. And there's not going to be a delay. You remember when Daniel was praying and, and, the, and the angel came to him, he said, I heard you the first day. And he said, this is the 21st day. But he said, the prince of Persia has fought with me for bringing the answer. The battle that you and I have been fighting this spirit, the, this battle against evil and wickedness, I believe the Lord said, that's over for a season. And there is a season of peace, hallelujah, coming on the body of Christ, and things are going to be easy. Things are going to happen quickly. The, whatever we need, the supply is going to be there. The things that we need to advance the kingdom of God, the things to build the kingdom of the Lord, solutions, hallelujah. God says, I'm going to begin to release them now. If God be for us, and all we've seen, it, nobody can be against us. And so this, this is on this Wednesday, this needs to be a day of celebration we need to take time to thank God. Hallelujah. Praise needs to be in our mouth. You and I have witnessed history. And God did it because the church, hallelujah, has an unfinished task that we're getting ready to accomplish. And the resources that we need and the ability that we need, God said, I'm giving it to you now. So... Enjoy this day. Enjoy what the Lord has done for the church, for our nation, for the body of Christ, and to God be the glory for what he has done. And I love you. Uh, tune in Sunday, Regeneration Nashville. Uh, you know, we're New Year's Eve is going to be our first service in our new building. 
and um, that's going to be our home. And we're going back to a 1030 in the morning service. And listen, things are amping up. Things are speeding up. Great days ahead for all of us. God bless you. I'll see you next week. For more information about Kent Christmas Ministries International or Regeneration Nashville, go to kentchristmas.org or regenerationnashville.org. And for the latest updates or videos, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. God bless you.